What's going on guys, today I'll be covering my personal top 5 essential picks for VS Code extensions to help boost your productivity and level up your code game as a new developer coming in to 2022. Now as a dev, it can be pretty daunting with all the stuff that's out there between frameworks, languages and everything else and now you've probably stumbled on extensions. And extensions for VS Code are basically plugins into the editor itself to help improve our experience and workflow in various ways. All right, enough of the intro. Let's talk about the top five, what they do and how you can get them. Coming in at number five for me is the extension called Prettier. Prettier is an extension that literally does as the name suggests and makes all your code prettier. In other words, neatly formatted and easier to read. This makes it super convenient for keeping things tidy and helping when sharing your code with others and also yourself when you have to read back on it. Because if your code is all over the place and the formatting is really out of whack, it can be harder for people to understand and read your code. Let me demonstrate. Here, I've got a small bit of JavaScript and it's kind of out indented. I've purposely made it so, you know, it's sort of sticking out in weird places. Now, if I press Control S to save, it's gonna format itself really nicely. Now, if I take this over now to a bigger file of JavaScript, you can see just how much it does if I just zoom out in here. And all this here, which is kind of indented a little bit weirdly, it could be neater, can be formatted like this with Control Save. Just like that. Look how much more neat that looks now. Now Prettier, like most extensions, comes with some pretty nice options, which allow us to format it the way we like to, such as turning single quotes to double quotes or vice versa. However, if there's something I would recommend is that you make Prettier your default formatter. And you can do that by searching in your settings formatter and then making sure your editor is using prettier as the default code formatter. Additionally, I would also suggest that you tick the format on save option so that you don't have to select the file and then format it manually. This will just format it for you on save as I just showed you before. Alright guys, so coming in at number four is another visual tool which helps improve our workflow by helping readability. Bracket pair colorizer does this by matching bracket pairs of functions, arrays and objects with the same color. This helps us to identify exactly where the end or starting bracket might be, and also the scope of which we're working in. Let's take a closer look. Now you might have already noticed here before, that my bracket pairs here, for my loop, have already been colorized as yellow. And the same thing here, for this console.log method, or function. The bracket pair is again, color paired. And if I go back to the bigger example of the JavaScript, you can see again, all the color pairings going on between the objects, the arrays, and also the functions and loops as well. And as I said before, it's a lot easier to identify the scope of which you're working in. Because if I click over here, you can see now that it tells me I'm working within the scope of this add nodes function by the yellow line running down the side. However, if I scroll down a little bit further, down to this if statement, if I click in it, it will tell me that I'm within the scope of this if statement. And again, like most extensions, bracket pair colorizer comes fairly customizable, where you can change your colors for each bracket pair and also the width and the styling of it. Okay, now landing a spot at number three is an extension called Live Server. This handy little tool works by firing up a local development server with live reload capability. Essentially meaning that when you save your files, the changes are instantly visible. This allows for developers to rapidly test and debug. Live Server works as a simple Node.js app that serves the working directory and its subdirectories and watches for any changes, which is quite similar to another NPM package you might be familiar with called NodeMod. However, this is a VS Code extension that's ready to use across all your projects once you have it installed. All right, so let's quickly check out Live Server in action. So over here, I've got a simple HTML document. Now I can go ahead and start the Live Server up and serve this document by going live at the bottom right corner here. Live Server now serves my HTML document and I can go ahead and now make changes to it and it will be instantly viewable. So let's go ahead and try it. So we'll change I love cookies to I love pizza. Save it and straight away we can see our changes. All right guys, before we jump into the final two, I just want to encourage you, if you haven't already, to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content just like this. All right, let's keep going. All right, so now at number two, we have an extension called Auto Rename. This extension helps by automatically renaming paired tags in HTML, XML, PHP, and JavaScript. You might be already familiar with this kind of functionality if you have used other IDEs such as Visual Studio or Eclipse where automatic renaming comes out of the box. Being able to automatically rename paired tags like this really helps myself at least to 
keep streamlining my writing of code by preventing me from having to scroll through the pages to find the other tags. Okay, so a simple example is just to change any tag here in this HTML document that we have open still. So if I go to this H6 down here, where it says let's change this tag, I can now turn this into a H1, and you can see that the changes are instantly reflected. If I change this to a paragraph instead, it turns into a paragraph, just like that. And this is reflected on any tag that I change it with, so even up here, if I go to uh, the header, for example, I could turn this into title. Of course, this isn't going to work, but you know, you can see the changes are being reflected in both of the HTML tags. Okay, now last on the list, and coming in at number one, is an extension called CSS Peak. CSS Peak allows us to peek into CSS IDs and class definitions from HTML files to the respective CSS file. This extension is great for people who love the design aspect of web development and are frequently working with large CSS files, making it handy to find where exactly your class definition is so you can quickly make the changes. All right, so let's take a quick peek at this in action. So I've still got this HTML document and now this H5 has a class of my title. Now over here in my style of CSS, we can see the definition here for my title. But now with CSS peak, I can just hover over this with control and now I can see the definition right there. If I click on it, I'll be taken straight to the definition in the CSS file. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is my top five list when it comes to VS extensions as a new web developer. Now looking back on this list, I have to say that I don't think I could put these in order from best to worst, but if I had to take five and only five as a new web dev, I think this is where I would land. Now keeping in mind, as a new web developer, you're likely only working with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and not any front-end frameworks. So I think these top five will gel together nicely to give you the most benefit across those languages and to help keep you productive. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Let me know your thoughts. Would you include these in your top five? Drop a comment and let me know. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing so you don't miss content just like this. Thanks.